As a Zenbook user myself, every generation makes a granular change for the better and there's been some misses, uh, specifically looking at the headphone jackless Zenbook. Uh, but it's good to know that Asus isn't afraid to learn from their mistake and overcome it. That's a very rare trait to actually find for a brand in the tech space. That's it, 11th generation Intel processors are hitting the shelf and laptops powering the 11th generation processors are too uh, jumping on the bandwagon and that's it. This is the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED UX3402Z and here's how it thought on. Let's not waste any time and get right into it and you're watching The Adventures of Esper. Let's begin. So let's start off with the design. Asus has sticked with the signature Zen spiral brush design on the back of their laptops. But that pattern is actually slowly changing with the normal Zenbook. Gone are those brushed aluminium design and comes a design which we are truly familiar with. Back in 2019 when Asus celebrated their 30th anniversary, they unveiled their limited edition laptop and a new Asus insignia which stood out for a very good reason and being a huge Trekkie myself, it has a good resemblance to the Star Trek insignia. I mean, come on, take a look at it. So it seems like Asus is embracing the logo and it's more apparent with the new Asus ZenBook 14 OLED. The smooth matte finish on the back with the glossy outline of the logo with a subtle ZenBook printed on the corner is very sexy and neat looking. We have it in this Pondo blue color, which reminds us more of the ExpertBook B9 color, which we loved. Uh, it also comes with a different color which unfortunately we didn't get to take a look at and that's the Aqua Celadon. Names are pretty Star Trek like. The Ergolift hinge on the laptop is no longer edgier, instead it now has a long cylindrical shaped hinge with the Zen Spiral design on the side. Like I said, very subtle and a Zenbook signature styling is still present. So next up, I'm going to talk about the display and good news is that the Asus OLED display is here to stay because the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED UX 3402Z comes equipped with a very beautiful 14 inch display with a 2.8K resolution in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Now whatever you see here is a unique aspect ratio and resolution compared to other laptops at this price point. A 16 by 10 ratio gives you more vertical real estate and the 14 inch doesn't seem so small anymore. The Asus OLED is now a thing and all the laptop is getting a splash of it. Expect the display to excel in producing the best true blacks and vivid colors true and true. To add more things to the table, Asus is pushing the display to another level and this time it gets a 90Hz refresh rate. A rather odd choice, but hey, it's nice to have a higher refresh rate on a consumer-centric laptop with an OLED display. It does have a plastic-like bezel though, which I'm really not a huge fan of, but it's fine. It doesn't really bother me that much anyway. Now let's talk about the performance right now. Moving on to the specification, the Asus ZenBook 14 is getting the latest generation treatment this time around. That said, the variant that we have at hand for this review comes with the following set of specs. We have a 12th generation Intel Core i7-1260p and that P means performance, a 16 gigs of 4800 MHz LPDDR5 RAM which is on board and unfortunately that's not upgradable just like every other ZenBook we have seen in the past, a 1TB PCIe NVMe Gen 4 M.2 SSD, a dual band Wi-Fi 6E with Bluetooth 5.2. Everything that you see here is pretty much new to the laptop space as we have not had a DDR5 RAM, PCI Gen 4 SSD and all that goodness in this consumer laptop segment. This is a good generational upgrade as it offers a leap in performance from its 11th generation ZenBook. That's it, we benched Mark this laptop with the help of Crystal Disk Mark, Cinebench R23, PC Mark and 3D Mark. I'm going to talk about the storage and in this case we're going to start off with the Crystal Disk Mark and PCI Gen 4 is a chef's case. If you thought that PCI Gen 3 are already fast, PCI Gen 4 are much more faster. Twice the speed in fact and in this case you can see how well it hits a good 7000 megabits per second read and 5100 megabits per second write speeds consistently. You're going to have a good experience with the drive from anything work and play and when I say play, means entertainment stuff. Next up with Cinebench R23, you can see the prowess of the new 12th generation Intel processor in this course. 
The i7-1260P is an intriguing processor as compared to its 11th generation G-series processor and I'm talking about the 1165G7. Intel is really giving a good fight this time around and we find a 12-core 16-thread processor. Quite the powerhouse really. And the score says so as well, with 1534 points in single core and a whopping 7600 points in multi core, making it very solid. I wish this laptop did have an Iris Xe Max to take, you know, complete advantage in the graphic department as well uh, to sweeten the deal. But while it may not have the most powerful graphics to depend on, it is still going to be a good addition even for light graphics tasks. Otherwise, it does say that the 1260p i7 processor is iris xe eligible so i guess there's that okay now moving on to the other stuff uh personally i am actually using an asus zenbook 14 oled and it's safe to say that this particular asus zenbook 14 oled shares a lot of really good traits with my current laptop the laptop keyboard is pretty much exactly the same sans the extra set of keys on the side which is essentially the same keys as the one now doubles as the arrow key. There is a fingerprint sensor on the power button too, which is very fast, registers very well, and you can unlock with just a simple touch. Secondly, I'm a huge fan of the IO, and this time around is extremely impressive with two Thunderbolt 4 USB Type-C port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A, HDMI 2.0, micro SD card reader, and a 3.5 millimeter combo jack. The good thing about this I.O. is that the USB 2.0, the full-size one that we used to have on the Zenbook is completely gone for something that's extremely fast, so which means you can hook up your faster storage through the USB Type-A port right now. Now, Zenbook speakers have always been the benchmark on how good a speaker can be on a laptop. And for such a small form factor, it definitely packs a punch. And while there isn't any significant base to it, the clarity of it is more than enough to convince people to not bring a speaker for a retreat and still watch their favorite Netflix show. Now, with the Dolby support, which is the first time that we are seeing on a Zenbook, the Dolby access is free and that means you don't have to pay a single extra penny for you to control the audio. Explore and find a profile that works best for you and better yet, make a custom one. If you have a good pair of headphones that works well with the Dolby Atmos or even a sound system at home, you can set that up as well. This laptop is really going above and beyond in fulfilling the entertainment aspect of things. Now, in conclusion, the ASUS ZenBook 14 OLED UX3402 harmonizes a good balance with the next generation hardware like much faster SSD than ever on a laptop like this, DDR5 RAM for snappy memory management and not to forget the 12th generation Intel processor under the hood screaming to give a good fight with team rate. This particular Zenbook 14 makes me forget about the headphone jackless Zenbook and that's good. And uh, if you want to know more about the pricing, the model that we reviewed here comes at a price of 5,599 bucks. And this is also the highest variant among the bunch. There is another variant you could choose, which is an i5 processor. And the difference is at 4,399 bucks. So if you can afford that, then go for it. And that is also the only laptop that comes with two colors, which is the Ponder Blue you see in this video and the beautiful Aqua Celadon, which is actually my personal favorite. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Huge thanks to Asus Malaysia for sending us this laptop over for making this review happen. And they are watching this video for the very first time as you guys are. So that's basically it. Make sure to like us on our Facebook, follow us on our Twitter and Instagram because that's where all things tech related happen here at the Adventures of Vesper and we will catch you guys in another video very soon. Until then, this is Prithi Rat signing off. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.